Hello, I'm absolutely delighted to be here in this fabulous art gallery in on Ryan and the Gwiltop, Joan Clancy Gallery. Joan, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to have you, Regina. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. What a stunning location here that you have in front of the sea. I know we're in on Ryan and the Gwiltop, so come to Fort Lorica, and the tide is in and the weather is always beautiful here. Always sun is always shining in on Ryan. And of course we're surrounded by these lovely paintings as well. Oh. So it's it's good for the heart and good for the soul. Beautiful. Talk to me about the paintings and the exhibition that you have on at the moment. Well, what you're, what you're seeing now, what we're looking at now, are some works by um, Katarina Kajeska. And she's known for her, her iconic paintings of people, stars, Hollywood stars, and people who, who were, you know, well known in, in, who've made an impression in the 20th century. And number 15 there is Coco Chanel. Wow. And number 14 comes from uh, Nick, one of Nick Cave's songs. It's, it's inspired by one of Nick Cave's songs. Beautiful, and, uh, beautiful. Do you have a tree that's called? Yeah, they're stunning paintings and I fell in love with a particular painting myself. Maybe we talk about that, Joan, if that's okay. Oh, number 20, that's John Cunningham. I'm sorry, John Cullinan. John is a Tremor-based artist. And we're looking out there at the, uh, in not quite the foreground, but Balnacorti Lighthouse against the backdrop of the Copper Coast in County Waterford. And all copper the coast way down and it's from the perspective of over robert's cross in ring and so it's and john's style is very recognizable he elongates what he sees sometimes and has those kind of swirls so which are quite evident in the painting beautiful and you've got some stunning other artwork and in terms of your customers that buy from you, Joan, where are they from? Are they from Waterford? Are they from other locations? We attract customers from all over Ireland, really. That, you know, we, 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 we get a lot of mentions in the national media. Of course, the local media are wonderful to us as well, and we couldn't, we couldn't get on without them. So we're quite well known. So when people come to Ring, you know, they, or they come to Dungarvan, uh, they'll always factor in a visit to Joan Clancy Gallery. Well, I'd certainly highly recommend it, and I'd be delighted to be walking away with a beautiful painting here that we're going to purchase. It's stunning. Um, I love your gallery. And talk to me, do you have exhibitions here that people can attend, Joan? Yes, we have three or four exhibitions a year. We used to have more before COVID, but then we sort of had to change our tune. But, um, you know, we're always open by appointment between advertised exhibitions. And we have a lovely gallery of artists, as you can see, and they're all quite diverse, but they all have one thing in common, is that they're, they're, um, they're very reputable and they're very, you know, it's, it's worth buying their work. We can stand behind it. Well, that's very interesting. And do you mind me asking you, Joan, in terms of price point, you know, is there, is there something for sort of multiple budgets? There is, yeah. We have from 100 euros up to 2,500. That's wonderful. Doesn't a piece of art make a magnificent gift, whether it's to yourself or to somebody else? It does, because it's lasting and you'll have it and you can look at it. And then as the light changes in a room, the painting looks different. And as the seasons change, the painting looks different. And should you decide, well, I want to move that to somewhere else, well, the painting will assume a whole new life. So it's a wonderful gift to, to give to somebody or to yourself. Or to yourself, indeed. And how long is the gallery here, John? We opened in 2001, so we're here 20 years now. Oh, wow. Wow. And um, have you... I was asking about a particular artist that took my interest in terms of the surname Clancy. Any relation? Oh, there are two artists here called Clancy. Two of my daughters, Blonie Clancy and Raylene Clancy. And can we... Which paintings are their paintings? Are they here in this they're down, room? They're here and there's three little ones here belong to, belong to Rayleigh and there's two little ones this, up there. Oh, over so here. 21, 22 and 23. You must be so proud to have your daughter's art exhibiting in your gallery. Oh, I'm proud of all three daughters. My daughter Rosemary is in Dublin and she's, she always, you know, uh, 
we get great input from her as to the marketing and promotion of the gallery. And then there are two flowing small ones there, and then there's one as you come in the door downstairs, and it's, it's a lovely one. Absolutely beautiful. And you know, I am absolutely thrilled to say that I recently got married and got a beautiful um, gift uh, of one of many lovely gifts. One was a voucher for Joan's Gallery and I'm um, thrilled because I think it's a great gift to give somebody a voucher for art if somebody's worried that they might not pick what somebody yeah. might like because it's quite subjective. Oh, it is, it? Of course it is, yes. And your friend was very wise to, to pick it and it was all done online. All online. So yeah. you can buy the voucher online. You can buy it and I posted it. The actual voucher. I posted it to her then in post. Brilliant. Well, I'm thrilled with that gift. So if you're looking for a special gift, Christmas isn't that far away, whether it's to treat yourself. Is there anything else you'd like to add, Joan? No, we're always open um, by appointment, you know, and, and between advertised shows. So we're always happy to see somebody and we're, you know, do what we can. I only gave you a few minutes notice and you said no problem Regina come on in so I'm delighted. Um Gurv Mila Mahagut Joan. Regina. Great. Um thank you for watching. We'll put a link to Joan's gallery here and uh Slonga Fall. Mm -hmm.